Let's start with translation layers, things like whiskey and crossover. So these two work like interpreters. They translate the language that Windows games speak into something your Mac can understand. And a lot of people prefer this method since they are not actually installing Windows. So no rebooting or switching is needed. For example, every time you want to play, just head over to your Steam library inside Crossover or Whiskey and start the game normally. But whiskey and crossover, which one should you try? If you are a tech enthusiast and you are comfortable with manual configuration and tweaking, whiskey might be the one for you. It is totally free, built on top of Y and comply with Apple Game Pouring Toolkit. It actually runs pretty well when it's work. But just so you know, whiskey is no longer being updated. That means if something breaks or macOS update cause compatibility issues, there's no official fix coming. One of the examples is you can run the latest Steam version on whiskey, even though there's a workaround to run the outdated version, but it will require some manual configuration. That is why I recommend you to try Crossover, which is simply an upgrade version of Whiskey. You get more compatible games and all necessary dependencies are pre-installed during the setup. The user interface and configuration in Crossover are highly intuitive. If you are an advanced user, you have full control to manually configure your bottle. However, for most gamers, you can just stick with the default setting Crossover will automatically handle the necessary configuration for each game. So Crossover is such a great application. But you know in order to make and maintain its performance, company needs money. But to be honest, I think their price is pretty affordable and reasonable compared with what they offer. $74 for a lifetime license and including 12 months of support. You can get it even cheaper using my 10% discount code or wait for Boxing Day or Christmas Day when they usually do 20 to 35% off. Even though most games run well on crossover, some titles still won't be playable. Battlefield 4 is one of them. It's required Bunk Buster, an anti-cheat system that doesn't work properly outside of a full window environment. And since crossover, whiskey, and even wine are just translation layers, they can't fully replicate a complete window environment. That is why the next method to play window games is using a virtual machine. So if you've been using Mac for a while, you're probably familiar with Bootcamp, a built-in utility that allows you to install Windows alongside macOS. But since Apple switches to its own chip on recent Macs, the only practical ways to install Windows is through a virtual machine. And the most capable and optimized VM you can get now is Parallels. It supports DirectX 11 and OpenGL 4.1 graphic API, which can accommodate a lot of popular titles like Assassin's Creed, Battlefield 4, or Batman. 